It was mass, the ground was shaking because of the great Amen. The Great Amen comes right after the concluding doxology, which we'll talk a little bit more about later in the week. But typically for me, for most of my life, the Great Amen was that time. I was like, all right, we're done with the kneeling. We're about to be standing. Mass is almost over. Perfect. And the early Christians got to that point in the Mass when they said the Great Amen. Unlike now, where it can sound kind of robotic and lackluster, back then when they said the Great Amen, the buildings that they were in celebrating Mass actually shook. Like <laughs> earthquake level, like they would be shaking because of the amen that they would say would be resounding so much. So what do they know that we don't? Amen is maybe one of those words that, because we say it so much, it's just part of our religious context, that it loses some of its meaning. You probably know this, but amen isn't affirming, and I believe, a saying yes to what has just been said before. And so at the end of the Eucharistic prayers, at the end of us offering the perfect sacrifice to the Lord, we have the great amen. And we, might, we might ask ourselves, like, why was the amen of the early Christians so powerful? It's because they knew what they were about to receive. You know, the ones who walked with the Lord, who had seen him die and rise again. They knew that what they were about to receive was the Lord who loved them so much. The Lord who had given everything to them so much so that he gave them the beauty of the sacrifice of the mass because he wanted to be with them forever, no matter what. This is he longs to be with us, be in our hearts forever. And so when they said amen, it was an affirmation of the incredible gift the Lord had given them how the Lord wanted to dwell in their hearts now and forever. And as we come back to Mass, as we are again about to receive our Lord, let's let our words not be hollow, empty and void of meaning. Now, the Holy Spirit inspired these incredible words to help us enter into the mystery and the beauty of what the Lord is trying to share with us. The great Amen is a powerful moment in the Mass. We get to respond with our, from our hearts that we believe, that we know that this is God, the Lord who loves us, who after offering the sacrifice of the Mass, we will soon be able to receive in this communion banquet that we are being brought into union with the Lord. Now, amen's also a lot of times likened to the I do at a marriage, because that's what the Lord longs for us. The relationship he longs to have for us is that of marriage, of such close and intimate communion and union with him. So may our amen not be void. May our amen sound with the hope and the knowledge of our Lord's love, how he is seeking intensely our hearts, and he longs to be with us forever. Amen.